Hey, Sunday morning service is over. Let your weekly service begin. This week, we started a series called Valued, and we're looking at women that Jesus interacted with. But deeper than that, we're looking at the fact that women are made in the image of God, and that instead of maligning and marginalizing, we should learn from and value them as well. And so there's a lot for us to learn, and I'm excited about that. We looked at Mary, the mother of Jesus today, and how she was humble and obedient, and she was somebody who taught us how to put first things first, and she was somebody that was loved more by God than she could love God, and she loved God a lot. And so with all that, I thought, man, what a cool live it out invitation would be. Look up some ladies in the Bible that maybe you haven't heard of before. So here's one, Zipporah. She was the wife of Moses, but more than that, she was faithful and she taught Moses some things. And so how about the daughters of Zolophahad? That's right, look those ladies up. Also included a little bit in Moses' story, but they actually, their story is really unique in that it helped set precedent for legal um, proceedings even all the way into America. I mean, these are Old Testament ladies. And so then the final ones I was thinking you should look up are Eunice and Lois. They were Paul's uh, father or son in the faith, Timothy's mom and grandma. And they had faith in Jesus and they passed it on to this precious boy. And they made a huge difference. There's lots of other people in the Bible, lots of other women in the Bible, 300 women, a hundred which don't even have their names mentioned. But this is my live it out. Read about these women. What do you learn about God from their story? What do you learn about them? What do you learn about yourself? And then what are you gonna do about it? So those are the invitations that I have for you. And I ask that you would encourage people in your life to treat women with awe and reverence and respect because they're made in the image of God. Again, we're not asking people to worship people, but we are asking that we give them respect, in particular women. Women have been put off and put aside, and we're not, that's not what we're called to do. Let's help people believe that the Bible is real by treating women and men, boys and girls, people that are marginalized in the culture all over the place. Treat them with respect. Treat them with honor. Treat them as image bearers of God. All right. Be strong and courageous and let it be contagious. I'll see you next week.